Hello, Brother Monroe here, and welcome back to Ultimate Dreadnoughts. Uh, today, uh, yet another scenario by uh, WWE, long time support of the channel. Um, thank you very much. Um, so this is the Asiatic arms race. Uh, the tensions have been building between Russia, Japan, and China in recent years. The naval arms race has grown to rival that of the three South American naval powers. Back at the turn of the century, the Emperor had a dream in which a mighty mountain floated over the sea, belching fire from every surface. With this portent, China ordered a new class of battleship from Germany to better those recently built by its neighbours. The first ship is finished and heading for her home port. The final group of islands are all that stand in her way. She is escorted by two ocean going destroyers and must choose her route home. Unbeknownst to her, the Japanese are to the east and the Russians to the west. Um, ready to spring in attack. Uh, I'm going to go and take on the Japanese, which is the more advanced fleet. Um, and uh, Plus, it's kind of nice to do a... Uh, oh, hello there, people. Uh, in Twitch chat. Um, hey, W. <laughs> doing your scenario. Uh, 10,000 meter okay for a start range, by the way. Um, so I'm going to go up against Japan. We have the one mighty mountain of fire battleship against and our two destroyers and we're going up against the Empire of Japan we've got three year tech advantage but they have an extra battleship and they have six cruisers three heavies and three lights um, the only requirements in terms of the ship and I'm to design the battleship um, is I can make her as big as I like which is cool uh, I must have at least medium range and if I can fit a gun, I must have a gun, um, even if it's a two-inch gun. So um, that's what we're going to go with. And hello there to Marshall and Callum. Thank you for joining. Um, okay, so we've got the Battleship 1 or the Battleship 2. Uh, well, we'll go with the Battleship 2, even though... Oh, yeah, no, 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 we'll go with the Battleship 2. Although, weirdly, when you make it bigger, you get this kind of gantry, which is a bit... It's a bit funky, this <laughs> this hull, um, but okay. Uh, what do we got in terms of towers? Tower twos. Okay. Um, funnels. What do we got? Big, medium, standard. So I can fit three standards, three mediums. Let's go for three mediums. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> okay, three medium funnels. Lovely. Hello there, Annie and me. Nice to see you. Okay. Um, goodness me. This is going to be tricky. You can see already I've reached 96% of my uh, displacement uh, just with the funnels. So it's going to have to be standard funnels in that case. Um, I can get a multiple expansion steam. Uh, ship is not going to be a fast one. Oh, jeez. Yeah, fif 15 knots. Oh, God. I dread to think how long the journey would take from Germany to China at 15 knots, but there we go. <laughs> oh, God. Right, can we up for the armor? Wow, all the way to crop two. That's fairly significant. Um, explosive. I've got ballastite. Lidite 1 or Lidite 2? Yikes. Uh, I'm going to stick with the Ballastite. I, I... I think. Maybe. We'll see what guns we can fit. Uh, let's go for main guns. So I can go all the way up to a 13... Looks like 12-inch guns 
hit the sweet spot with accuracy that is surpassed by the 9 inch but not by much so yeah let's go with a 12 inch gun and the Emperor did want this thing to like belch fire so let's go with a uh, four and a half dual 12 to start with and you say no I can fit them here um, case make guns six inch at the front fives nope fours yeah threes oh twos no and I have to do the same with torpedoes so I must have the underwater torpedo tubes um, but otherwise I'm free to do what I like with this weird little space in the middle here um, I'm genuinely not sure to be honest range firing it let's go with this coincidence one enhance reload advanced hydraulics heavy gels why not um, 18 inch fast torpedoes bulkheads ooh, citadel 2 anti-flood uh, maybe oh god um, Okay, let's do my standard going with everything that I actually want. And then figure out what I need to drop to get it to fit. And annoyingly, I think it's the main... Oops, the main guns. Uh, I still want to go with 12s. But let's maybe go with a single 12 on the front and the back and maybe a Q turret no I'd go way over uh, okay um oh, this is a tricky one All right let's go down to anti tort one anti flood one and standard thickness barbettes. Saves a tiny amount of weight. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with ballastite. Oh, geez. This is a tough one, DLP. I'll tell you that much. Uh... I have to go to for many bulkheads. I know it's heresy. Oh, that'll still send me over. What about secondary guns? Get some eight inch, an eight inch single gun in here. Pretty rubbish, but it'll do. So I can get some more armor. Not a lot more. Relying on uh, quality over quantity here by quite a considerable amount. Well, there we go. 12,700 tons. Um, it does meet the Emperor's requirements. It's slow as hell. And I've no idea how well this thing will do. Um, yes, I can tell that you set out to make it difficult. Uh, what do you think of the ship, then? <laughs> given that you know the, the restrictions. Good, bad, indifferent. Um, well, we're going to find out in a minute, aren't we? <laughs> right, let's go. Jesus. So it's our one battleship, two destroyers against two of theirs, and a bunch of cruisers. And the enemy smoke is spotted to the north, and of course we're going the wrong way. Right, turn around, switch the torpedoes off. The 
Chow Long, we're already under fire. He went for three nine inch turrets, as in three single nine inch. I mean, the Emperor did say he wanted it to be like a mountain. <laughs> right. For the Chrysanth? No, it's not the Chrysanth. Sorry, what's the um, Imperial... Uh, yeah, Lidite. I would have chosen Lidite only if I was going up against smaller ships. Um, just for that sheer damage output. But um, when I know I'm taking significant return fire... Oh yeah, my destroyers. Uh, right. See what you can do against that ship there. Somewhat positive to see HE shells coming out from the enemy. As that means our armor is probably pretty thick. Um, to be honest, no, because it was not a hard choice to choose who to fight, because I will fight the Russians <laughs> yeah, immediately after, uh, depending on how long this takes. So um, that might be. Uh, but the next. Ultimate Admiral video I do, I will uh, I'll fight the Russians instead. But I, I thought that the Japanese would be uh, an interesting fight to start with because the tech levels are quite close. Okay, so we have a light cruiser. It does have torpedo launchers on the sides as well, which could be quite threatening. So I definitely want to try and uh, kill kill those light cruisers as quickly as possible. Let's uh, fire our broadside at them. Now they will have spotted those torpedoes, forcing them to avoid. Uh, hopefully throwing their own torpedo aim off. Uh, they do not have a long range, their torpedoes. So, hopefully, we would stay out of range and uh, kind of pepper them. Do, 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 do. Might get a hit here if we're very lucky. That would be significant. Mm, yeah. Very significant. Standard bulkhead, so probably not a kill. But definitely a lot of damage. Uh, second wave of torpedoes out from the Bijin. You could smoke up. These are fast bloody destroyers, by the way. 32 and a half knots. That is absolutely bonkers. Right. I want you to fire on the uh, Oi. <laughs> Shaolong. Get her to hopefully retreat as well. I'm uh, not sure what the other set of torpedoes is. Oh, here. I think they're going to miss. Quite conclusively. Hopefully the uh, destroyers can reload. Very, very... You know, that's insanely fast. Even now, that's quite fast. 
Like, by modern standards, that's fast. Accuracy on the guns is actually not terrible against the light cruiser. If you can repel their light cruiser attack, that would be good. It looks like they got their battleships up at the back, which have a ton of guns. But minimum bulkheads. Interesting. That's a lot of a lot of guns on that ship. Definitely outclasses in the sheer amount of firepower they can put out. Yep, their uh, battleships are sixteen thousand nine hundred tons. Compared to our 12,700. A lot bigger. Ooh, I thought that was going to be a hit there. Right. Oh, no. Leave my destroyer alone. <laughs> These will be the heavy cruisers. Uh, no torpedoes on them. So they are much lower threat. So yeah, it's the light cruisers and their battleships that we really need to focus on. Yeah, eek, eek indeed. <laughs> Getting the odd hit here and there, but nothing spectacular. Uh, the Lingula, whichever one, might be able to get some torps off on the Ayoshima. Uh, the Bajin as well. Go for the Ayoshima, see if you can catch her. Or he's still the best target. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, let's hope that three year difference is significant. It should be this early on. In range. Can you fire the torpedoes, please? Things are sitting duck. Thank you. Right. And then I want you to just do a suicide run. But Jen, I want you to hold off, actually, on your torps. Okie uh, their battleships, I think, were using ballastite, same as us. The crew, light cruisers are using lidite, and the heavies are using gun cotton. Now. 
Well, those light cruisers seem to be very much dissuaded from coming any closer to us. Which suits me fine. This is going to be a slow battle, I'll tell you that much. Oh, big hit on the uh, Kinpu there. That might be worth an opportunistic torpedo shot if you can do it, Bajin. Ow. Nope. Alas, poor Linguini. I know it's not the Linguini, but it <laughs> looks like it. Yeah, they're not bad destroyers. Um, just outmatched by the sheer amount of firepower the uh, enemy is able to put out, I think. Come on, turn! For fuck's sake. Excuse my French. <laughs> Need to turn and... Oh no, the Kimpu's going to die. Go straight. Apologies, but shit. Keep going. Off. Kimpu is uh, definitely pretty heavily damaged here. I would like to finish her off. Torpedo at the uh, oh crap! She didn't die before she got her torpedoes off. That is annoying. Must have been hit by something relatively large there. Yeah, an 11-inch gun. That's unfortunate. Okay, so that's our port launcher fired. a good chance of actually hitting. Um, yeah, let's go for the Kimpu with the main guns. Let's try and hunt down the Akagi there. Battleships are way faster than mine. Woo! Thank you very much, First Place Onion, for the random sub gift. <laughs> Looks like we've lost the 8 inch. Yep. Yeah, 8 inch gun destroyed. What was that doing the 35 damage? 9 inch. Nice hit. it. Flash fire on the uh, light cruiser. Whee! Bits. Thank you very much, Onion. Looks like uh, Yamea is in torpedo range, so we need to start turning now. And we need her dead, like yesterday. Fortunately, our launchers are on the side. Stop it. Uh, 
Oh, this is torturous. She was going to fire the damn things. Hard to stop it. Okay. Run over chips. Chips. Let those torpedoes slide by us and turn back. And you may fire when ready on the Suo. Well, so far this is going extremely badly. <laughs> Why are you sorry? It's hilarious. Rudder damaged, but fortunately after we dodge torpedoes. Woo! Thank you very much for Space Onion. You are being very generous this evening. Right, main guns, you can target the sewer. It's <laughs> I said it was torture. That's more to do with the fact that this is slow pre-dreadnoughts. And I'm on times three speed, and it's still like you can never hit anything. We just find the goddamn torpedo. Thank you. <laughs> you are always generous. This is true. Ow! Those 11 inch guns do quite a lot of damage. Uh, they're turning to avoid, but. Nope. <laughs> and thank you very much for the bit there, Onion. Right. There we go. Killed one. <laughs> okay. Um, we're never, ever going to catch the Akagi. Um, so, main guns and secondaries on the Yoko, please. Absolute nonsense. Right, fire a torpedo at the Yoko, would you? Thank you. Ba, 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 ba. Oh yeah, this thing. I can try a German ship if I want. Uh, yeah, we might do that. Might have a quick look at that. See if it makes any huge difference, but... It's fun to try the Chinese hull. It's not like you get to play as China very often, so... Although they do tend to have generic hulls. This this will almost certainly be shared. This Battleship 2 hull with other nations. Probably Austro-Hungary. Spain. Um,
Oh, hello. Torpedo away, although that it will miss. I could have told the gunner that that would miss, but never mind. Because they were clearly turning. Oh, thank you very much for the uh, follow there. Uh, irrelevancy. <laughs> Torpedo away. Mm, good hit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's doing damage, but those heavy cruisers are able to take torpedo hits for days. Ammo detonation! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Rudder damaged. What's done the most damage to us out of interest? Yeah, those 11 inch guns on the battleships. When they hit, they definitely hit hard. Ooh. Oh, nice hit. Flooding at the front. We've damaged a lot of these ships, just killing them is hard. And of course, with my terrible dice rolling skills, or at least an ultimate admiral anyway, 35% chance to hit might as well be zero. Overpen there. Uh, Yoko is struggling now with that flooding. And dead. Hooray! A kill! Ugh. <sighs> Oi, coming back to uh, annoy us. <laughs> hey, I do actually okay on the XCOM RNG, especially considering XCOM's crap. <laughs> But Ultimate Admiral, Dice Roll, uh, RNG, no. Right, main guns on the Heavy Cruiser, please. Along with the Torpedo Launchers. Ooh. I'm not familiar with uh, the WOT acronym. Uh, Argon there. Welcome to the chat, by the way. Oh, we can go up to times five speed, finally. Oh, well, thanks. Hello there, Hermeticopus. Nice to see you. How you doing? I've not played the uh, World of Games, so World of Warships, World of Tanks. I'm aware of them, but I've never actually tried playing them. Ooh. Yep. Torpedo hit. How many torpedoes do we have left? Five. Could be an issue. Oh, ricochets. 
Look how many ricochets he's had. 103. <laughs> Outrageous nonsense. Um, look at the damage is almost the same on two sides. 12 inch guns have done the most damage when they've actually hit, which is only 22 times. <laughs> What's the yellow card for? <laughs> what do they do now? Switch the main guns to save because we are running low on shells. I'm going to switch the torpedoes to save. I need that light cruiser dead. The torpedoes they carry can still be very dangerous. <laughs> okay, well, thanks. Oh, yeah, there we go. Finally a decent hit out the 12-inch guns. And another one. Torpedo away, which might finish her off. Or it might be a waste of a torpedo. It's a waste of a torpedo. Of course it is. Right. Um, I want Ayashima next. Um, torpedo's off. Yeah, I think the Emperor will be pretty happy. I mean, this is uh, Japan's best. Killed one of their battleships. Where doing a significant amount of damage to their cruisers. How much damage have we? We're taking 800 hits. Including 47 hits from the uh, enemy battleships. Bit of a sitting duck. Good Lord. <laughs> Millie, what are you doing? Millie trying to sabotage me. <laughs> well, can you please kill that light cruiser? I don't know there's another one, but Jesus Christ. Main guns off. <laughs> Seeing as how few shells we have. Need that light cruiser dead. They don't seem keen to close to torpedo range, which is interesting. I 
mean, the ship is uh, taking an absolute battering here. We're still up, We're still fighting. Right, let's give the Aboba a surprise. Of course we miss, but, you know, the intention is to give her a surprise. Overpin. Oof. Have sent a torpedo away. Which might miss. Please don't miss. Yay! There we go. Oh, a flash fire on the over. Hey, over. It's more like it. So she's lost the turret. It doesn't look like she's going to die from that, though. Ugh. I know, the flash fires are very, very nice. What you be listening to on the radio, good sir? Yeah, hits. It's a chance to pin that ship, by the way. Whoa! Why don't you try HE instead? Just for fun. Ow. Oh, Scotland versus Czech. Uh, that, that is um, something to do with a game that is played with feet and balls, I believe. <laughs> Come on. One little hit. There's so much to ask for. <laughs> yes, go local sports team and or college. <laughs> Did you see that ludicrous display last night? Nice hit on the Kimpu there. Taking our engines. Oh my god. Please hit. Please hit. Just once. Just just for me. Alright. Nope. <laughs> Might as well just take the ammunition and throw it in the sea. <laughs> oh yeah, of course you live in England, Shire. Are you not allowed to express support for... Scotland in the ball of foot game. 
in England, Shire. I mean, I know you're not allowed to support uh, express support for England in in anything in Scotland apart from maybe cricket. <laughs> hey, flooding! Good lord! A swarm of hornets. Slowly murdering us. Finally, getting some hits out of the guns with the last few shells. Good hit. Hello there, um, Lucifer. Thank you very much. Um, okay, great. Uh, you come from the YouTube channel. Fantastic. Well, welcome to Twitch. Um, it's currently about a lead time of a week and a half um, to two weeks. So you will see this this battle coming up on uh, YouTube as well eventually. But yeah, it's it's uh, it's nice on Twitch. Uh, so welcome, welcome. <laughs> I do enjoy chatting to people. Oh, Onion, you must have access to that website from uh, the IT crowd. <laughs> uh. Oh, you've got the game? Amazing. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Um... For a game this, I mean, I don't want to say unfinished because it's not, um, but for a game with, you know, so much still to do, like campaign isn't finished um, at all, which is a major aspect of the game. I think we pretty much have zero control over the ship now. Um, yeah, it's it's crazy. Oh, you like the Taskmaster stuff as well? Fantastic. Yeah, it, 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 it's an enormously fun game. Obviously, it's not on Steam, so I don't have a, a ticker for how much I've played it. But I must have got a few hundred hours into the game already. Yeah, campaign... Um, yeah, Arsenal, they would always try to walk in. <laughs> um, yeah, the campaign's going to be really exciting. Yeah, we killed all of their heavy cruisers. I mean, I don't know what else we're going to do. Because we are literally dead in the water here with one torpedo left, but... Yeah, yep, yeah, this is 1903. So yeah, pre-Dreadnought era. Um, one thing I have noticed from a lot of the scenarios that people send in to Stealth and a few of the other YouTubers is a lot of them focus on the 19... Like, more sort of World War Two era um but uh it's, it's fun to look at the uh <laughs> the pre-dreadnought era as well o although the battles tend to take i mean this is how long are we going now 50 minutes something like that um this kind of battle is particularly hard to win because a single battleship just cannot hit and you you just need a mass weight of fire yeah, they're going to kill me off with their light cruisers now, I reckon. Still have loads of torpedoes, which I can no longer avoid. I can barely even steam at this point. Yeah, exactly. You've got to close to within one kilometer. Pretty much. Board them. Sadly, no boarding mechanics as yet. Alright, switch. We're going to save that last torpedo for just in case. Still got plenty of secondary ammunition, might as well use it. But that light cruiser is almost certainly closing in for a kill shot on us. And as I said, there's not much we can do about it. Though quite while we're using... We should be using HE shells on him. Yep, here comes the torpedoes. 
Am I doing another scenario today? Probably not, given how long this one took. Um, I might have a quick look at the... Because uh, this is only the first half of the scenario. Yeah, that's, that's dead. And flash fire to end. Whee! <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, no. Um, what I am allowed to do is I am allowed to go with a German ship instead to try and refight against Japan. And the other thing that I can still do is I can go against the uh, the Russians instead. So um, might very quickly have a look at the ships just to see if it's uh, so. These are going to be much earlier. Eighteen ninety five versus. Four, one, two. Otherwise, the same. Um, ooh, I much prefer that. You get a battleship three instead of the battleship two if you go with Germany, which is nice. Um, all the other choices are going to be pretty much the same. Screw it. Let's go for... Uh, oh no, they don't fit. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. They don't fit. They do. Can't fit a gun there. Uh, this is going to be quick. This is going to be extremely quick. Because... No, can't fit any fives, can't any fours, or threes, or twos. That's it. Uh, I need the medium range. Let's go for many bulk kids. Call... Two. Uh, slow. Huge. Ooh, huge gives me more guns. Yes. Really? Can't fit a gun there? Why can't I fit a gun there? Oh, it's for another funnel. Oh, hey, Nage, thank you very much for subscribing, my friend. For three months as well. Thank you very, very much. Um, does it give me more torpedoes? No. Uh, so let's go for the 18-inch fasts again. This time let's go for Lidite 1 because heavy shells. Because why not? What could go wrong? <laughs> oh dear. Um, standard barbette thickness, don't need an anti-torpedo belt, some of that, some of this, anti-flooding, underwater protected decks, why not, and just all the belt on that we can fit. Let's go! Hello Winston. Right, <laughs> this is going to be an extremely fast battle. And I'm going to display it on times five. I'm not going to change any of the settings. Uh, destroyers, off you go. More guns, more fun, exactly. Twelves on the stern and nines up front. Yeah. It's going to be hard. Oh, I'm going to lose. <laughs> Extremely fast. Like, there's no chance, no chance of me winning this. This is a stupid design. And it's basically designed to burn the enemy to down. Times 10 speed, please. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Yeah, no, I've gone for a double, double liner on the front and a single on the back. Oh, accuracy. What's this thing you call accuracy? Torpedoes away from the V1, which is probably going to die now, and from the V2. Oh yeah, they have four battleships, don't they? Dare I ask what the scenario is? Um, yeah, this is uh, the Emperor of Japan has ordered a new uh, battleship and the Russians are trying to intercept it. Um, oh wait, I, I left them on the uh, Japanese but I changed it to the Russian scenario. Ah, that was stupid of me. Sorry, Dale, you're messing it up. Yeah, yeah, 1940s, you hit targets from, hell, you can hit them from like 30 kilometers away um, as well, with reasonable accuracy, and then it's like, <laughs> 1890s, what is this accuracy you speak of? Yep, close in, murder them at close range, how else are you supposed to play the game? If there there is another way, please uh, let me know in the comments. Um, <laughs> right, come on. Come on, you bastards. Have at you. We're just going to sail in. Cargo took a big hit there. Few bulkheads. <laughs> ha! Yeah, they've, they've, they've got torpedoes up the wazoo. We're uh, screwed, to put it lightly. But um, never mind. Gonna kill the cargo for me, please, V2? Any time now. Oh, you're still targeting the wrong ship, that's why. Thank you. Well, you've caused enough of a distraction for the grosser Kerfer to get him to range. Yep. Knife fight. Absolutely. Makes you uh, sad that the game does not have boarding mechanics. <laughs> Hey, that might kill the cargo. New, maybe. Fight net, fight net. Oh, dead. Again, we're just gonna sail right up the middle. Missing everything. Who cares? <laughs> Board them. Oh, yeah, Ultimate Admiral um, Age of Sail. Yeah, I, I do need to try that at some point. I know the teams are different, but... Um, yeah, that that would be fun. To give it a try. Torpedo away! <laughs> Surprise! Yeah, we killed the light cruiser. Woo! <laughs> we kill another light cruiser. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, I should. I also need to play some more uh, Battlefleet Gothic on the uh, channel. Yeah, quad turrets will be uh, absolutely amazing. Not only the French ships, but also um, one thing I've been wanting to build pretty much since I got the game is uh, recreation of the King George V class 
uh, ships which had uh, their A and X turrets were quad turrets with the dual dual B turret and they're probably one of the most famous British battleship designs of the Second World War um, they lost one I think it's just Prince of Wales um, all the rest survived the war um, Prince of Wales, of course, was the one that fought Bismarck. Not that she was destroyed in that engagement. She was blown up by... Um, blown up by... Uh, land-based torpedo bombers. Yeah, very strange hole. And a vanguard, yes, absolutely. Um, that the British are stuck with the N3 G3 is a bit... meh, to be honest. Well, yeah, Hood doesn't count. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am well known for my disparaging remarks about battle cruisers, which is going to be fun because uh, me being a sadistic fool, I uh, wrote the uh, taskmaster for this for next Tuesday, and uh, it involves battle cruisers. I don't know why I did that to myself. Um, yeah, battle cruisers are rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish. Unless you're going up against um, like trans, like convoys and stuff, they're very good. Very good at convoy raiding, provided you don't go up against a battleship. Um, we all make mistakes. <laughs> yeah, true. You've had decent luck with them. Well, good for you. Um, you can make them work. Particularly the American ones. I found um, because you're basically building a fast battleship with quite heavy armor. Like if you armor them up like a battleship, they're fine. But good gravy! If you have a standard battle cruiser like the Battle Group of Five going up against a battleship, it will die. Yeah, Hood, yeah, Hood had design flaws they knew about and should have fixed, but didn't. Absolutely. Pe battleships are kings and battle crews are those weird peasants that pretend they are kings but are the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> Although those people who think they're Napoleon. <laughs> no, they were never, in never intended to take on battleships. They are designed for killing commerce ships. And I think in the campaign, they will have use in that role I just have a suspicion that you can do the job with a heavy cruiser which will be cheaper so the real reason to take a battle cruiser for me is if you want a kind of solo or pair of hunters to go out and take on convoys that you know are protected by cruisers because they will be able to just murder cruisers um, yeah. I, I, I really should have a look at the um, I know History Guy does Age of Sail campaign um, I really need to have a look at that um, because I'm assuming Age of Sail and Dreadnoughts are going to have very similar campaigns I mean, you'd expect so in the same studio, but um, I'm really not sure. I've been thinking about what I would do if I was designing the campaign. I was thinking maybe, um, maybe uh, it'll be kind of like War Game Red Dragon, where oh, flash fire on the uh, heavy cruiser. There. Oh, they fired a torpedo at us. That ain't good. How rude. Nothing I can do to avoid it. No, not too much damage, actually. Oh, do I get depressed when I see the Age of Sail campaign? Okay. I, I, I mean, my expectations are that it's sort of like... Um, Asa's proper range. There we go.
Hey! <laughs> See, now we've got some accuracy going. A mighty 23%. <laughs> so, not not like Age of Sail, oh dear. Okay. I, I'm kind of thinking it'll be like Wargame where you have little pieces that you move around regions and you can give those pieces orders. So, you can move a piece to say, I don't know, the North Sea, give your order to Convoy Raid, or in, like, find enemy fleets and destroy them, or escort or something not 100% sure but that's kind of one way they could go with it um, that would make a lot of sense to me the other is to have real time so that you know your fleet's actually moving around in real time on the map um, rather than a turn based thing but uh, I'm not sure ah oh, Jesus Christ we've got the same bloody situation I'm being corralled. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. One in every direction. It's like a uh, keep away. Keep away. Keep away. And it's like, Argh! come here so I can board you. <laughs> yeah. I, I have no idea what the campaign will be like. Uh, they haven't shown any uh, any screenshots of it yet. Um, uh, bigger than 50,000 tons um, is that really the maximum I thought you could get something bigger than that um, in fact I think this scenario is, is likely over <laughs> so I'm going to say goodbye to the YouTubers and with the folks on Twitch I'm going to go and check how, how big a battle cruiser you can make um so, especially with this torpedo coming in, I think that's going to seal our fate, so... Yep. Anyway, thank you very much, YouTubers. I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral.